Hey there, welcome back to my channel, TJ Dagri here. Um, as you can see by the title, we are about to get very, very, very personal. And, um, you know, I wasn't even sure if I wanted to really share this, but hey, you know, we go together. We are family here on this channel, so I believe that when things are working out for me and really helping me, that I should just, I feel obligated to share it with each and every one of you. So, child. Stay tuned. All right, so today we are talking about, as you saw in the in the clip, um, hold on, let me get what I need. As you all saw in, or could see in the title, we are talking about <laughs> the most random thing I've ever put on my channel, which is coffee enemas. Now, what is a coffee enema? It sounds just like what I said. It's a enema that is coffee right and you can actually google it you can look on youtube there are many 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 videos um that are explaining how and what uh coffee well what they are and how to do them also <clears throat> sweet jesus the benefits of doing them disclaimer i'm not a doctor i'm not telling you to go out and do this i'm just simply sharing <laughs> my experience okay so um as far as i let me try to get some facts okay so pretty much a lot of people will do coffee enemas or the people that do coffee enemas typically do them because they want to <laughs> become more regular and really clean out their colon there have been people who have claimed to have cured different diseases like cancer, diabetes, high blood pressure, um, things like that. IBS, which is irritable bowel, bowel syndrome. Um, many, many benefits according to the people that have done them on a regular basis. Now, I remember first hearing about coffee enemas back in the day. I think the show was called My Strange Addiction and there was this couple on there and they, um, were addicted to coffee enemas and they would do them legit like after every single meal now I do not suggest you go off the deep end like they did but you know there are people that do them every single day because they have they're trying to rid themselves of some type of chronic ailment or they are just trying to get this sh moving pretty much maybe July August I did my very first one and um, I lost four pounds. I weighed myself before inserting the enema and right after I got out of the shower. And I lost like four and a half pounds. If I can find the, the photos, I will insert them here. But if I can't, you just gotta trust me on it. But I absolutely did. So let me, let me just kind of go back to the very first time um that i did it it was very uncomfortable it was extremely scary and weird because i personally you know no shade but i don't like anything going up that area right only come out never going up like that's never been my thing okay so you know like inserting anything up there was just weird and it just it, it, it was weird okay what happened is what you're supposed to do is you know kind of hold it all in for about 15 minutes it was it was it was hard to hold it in for 15 minutes um you i had to go back to the Lama, to lama's class ladies y'all know they have children you're like you kind of go into that thing trying to just you know hold it in or whatever it was rough. It was really, really, really rough. But now that I've done it a few times, it, it has really, really gotten so much easier. So here's how you do it. Now, if you are somebody that has some type of ailment, I'm going to say this again, go to your doctor. Allegedly, they know what's best. 
whatever, right? But if you are someone who is like me and you're like, I, you know, I know when I need to clean out my colon, I would love to go and get a um, colonic, but I have small children and I don't have a village, so I don't have anyone that would be able to even keep my kids the hour or so while I'm out and about. So I kind of got to do the home remedies for now. Um, so what you need to do, or what was I saying? Jesus. So the reason I started doing them is because, um, like my stomach is huge and I started breaking out a lot. And, um, I know that, you know, breakouts are caused by bacteria and, you know, toxins in your body and whatnot. Uh, also I don't go on a regular basis. You, we should all go according to experts after every single meal. And I know most of us do not think back. If you have children, when your baby was a baby, like a newborn baby, um, they would go like all day long and you're like, Oh my God, how are you still shitting? Right? How is that still <laughs> possible? Right? It's because their little systems were working the way that God intended them to work. Um, but, you know, as we become older and we start eating all this bull crap that is in our diets, then it slows down our systems. And I know firsthand, you know, that I have an addiction to sugar and, you know, starchy things. And even though I don't eat meat, my diet isn't the best either. So, um, you know, I have those issues with not going on a regular basis so that is pretty much why i started looking into coffee enemas and i don't intend on doing them forever and ever amen um, but i do plan on doing them a couple of times a week at least for two to three weeks until i start to notice a you know speed up or increase in flow if you will um so that is why I do them. You also want to implement more fruits and vegetables into your diet, green juices, fresh green juices into your diet, and tons and tons of water. We should all be drinking half our body weight in ounces every single day, and that's really going to help to keep things moving as well. Eating a lot of leaf, lots of leafy greens and eliminating the excess sugars not eating so many starchy, heavy things that are really going to slow down your uh, system. Um, meat is something else, especially beef um, that likes to just kind of hang out in your, in your colon. I read somewhere, and I can't remember where I read it, or maybe I heard it somewhere. It's a lot of Americans that are walking around with 20, up to 20 pounds of in their system in their colon and that is just not healthy so um you know i noticed that my energy begins to kind of go down and um i start to feel nauseous and i'll notice myself breaking out and i know that it's time for me to kind of get things moving if you will so how do you do the coffee enema i'm actually going to put a recipe that i use down there i'm going to link um the article um, down in the description however you really just want to get you some organic or get well, it's too bright but if you want to get you some organic coffee um, and I get the grounds you can get beans and ground them up if you want to but I just get organic coffee grounds you don't want any flavors or anything like French vanilla like that's not necessary don't get that I don't get decaf I, I don't I guess you could but I'm not really sure I just can kind of get the regular coffee and then you're also going to want um, to get an a enema bag that comes with this tube right and so you what I did um, is I take four teaspoons lies four tablespoons of coffee you can brew this in a coffee pot i don't do that i take a stainless steel pot that's very 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 important is that a stainless steel those you know we're able to clean those a lot better um and things like that so i take a stainless steel saucepan and i put the four tablespoons of coffee and i put four cups of purified water now different people are going to say different things purified distilled whatever the case is i use some purified water 
and I put it on about three or four, kind of on a low temp, and let it go for about 10 minutes with the lid on. And then once it kind of starts to boil a little bit, I turn it off and I let it sit and come down to room ten temperature all on its own. Now, if you're in a rush and you're like, oh, I just want to, uh, oh, I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> um, I just want to, you know, get this over with. What you can do is do the four tablespoons, uh, two cups of distilled or purified water. Um, and then once it's done, you can take two cups of cold distilled or purified water and hopefully that'll get it more into a room temperature so that you can go ahead and do it you want to definitely make sure it's not too hot sis you you don't want them problem so then i take a strainer and i just kind of strain i strain it like three or four times to make sure that all the coffee grounds are no longer in the actual liquid and then i measure out two cups of coffee and I poured that into this little hole here and then I screwed this on and I'm not gonna do that because I used this last night and I want to make sure that this gets really dry on the inside and then you want to lay down okay let me let me let me set the mood for you let me set the mood for you so this is what I do I lay like a few different towels on the floor in the bathroom you don't want to do this nowhere else but like right by the toilet, right by the toilet, okay? So I laid down a few towels so that the floor, you know, it's not super uncomfortable. Uh, then I get my handy dandy phone. I did this last night. I watched The Real Housewives, the, the newest episode. And um, you want to hang this up. It needs to be up like this. Oh shit, it's still wet. It's, it's you know hang it up so I hang this on the um, shower curtain rod because you need gravity to bring the coffee down right so this should be like extended right and hanging down so then you want to take some Vaseline and really really coat the the um, I don't know what that's called the tube right you want to coat it the part that it's going to be inserted. You want to really, really coat that. I've tried olive oil, coconut oil is too thin. You want to coat it with something thick like Vaseline. Then you can do this one or two ways. You can get on your knees, butt in the air, and you know, insert. Okay, this part here is the little clamp. So when it's pushed in, nothing is flowing out of it. Okay, you also want to make sure that once you put the coffee in, you want to hang this over into the sink or something or into the bathtub to get the air out of the tube. Then you want to clamp it. Okay, so once you have it inserted about this, this much, you know, you know, you'll feel when it's enough, right? Then you want to unclamp it and let everything kind of flow in. It takes about a minute or two. Even though it's not a lot of liquid, it does take a little while to kind of travel down the tube. You want to make sure that it is up, though. You want to make sure that it's up um, in order for it to flow as fast as it possibly can. And you will feel it. I promise you, you will feel the gush going in, and then you will feel when it stops. So then you want, when you feel like it's no longer, there's no more liquid in the bag, you want to clamp it just to make sure, pull it out. And then you want to lay on your right side. Set your clock for 15 minutes, all right? The other way you can do it is by laying on your back with your legs up in the air and you can insert it that way. It's goddamn that here. Um, you can do it that way, but I prefer the other way because I feel like it kind of goes in. It goes in better, right? So you want to lay there. You want to keep yourself distracted for 15 minutes. Um, about 10 minutes in the first 10 minutes may be a little easy let oh let me say this, this is very important you want to go before you do this right you, you don't want to do because you're not gonna be able to wait 15 minutes so you want to be able to go so kind of time it we all kind of know when we go pretty much some people get up in the morning and they go some people's like five o'clock in the afternoon we typically go around the same time of day at least I do um, so you want to kind of time it to where your coffee is ready for you to use right after you go. 
okay? You want to get that first initial flowage out. Then you want to do this, okay? So about 10 minutes in, your first 10 minutes, it's going to feel, you know, depending on how backed up you are, it may feel a little... You know, like, oh, this is easy. I can do this. I can do this. And you might think that you can walk around the house. No, you cannot. Uh, you want to lay on your right-hand side because that is what gets everything going. You may actually hear, I think it's your gallbladder kind of releasing its toxins. It sounds like... That's what it's going to sound like. And you're going to feel that. I think it's on your right-hand side. Um, and that's your gallbladder kind of releasing. I don't know how coffee does that, but it does. And um, then around that 10, 11 minute mark, you're going to be like, because it's going to get harder and harder to hold it in. But you want to make it at least 12 minutes, 15 minutes uh, is ideal. Okay. And then once your timer goes off, you can run to, the, you know, get up, get on the toilet and just... <clears throat> It's going to be, uh, it's going to be, it's going to be interesting. Okay. Uh, so many people have, you know, reported that, uh, parasites have come out and things like that. I don't ever look, I'm too scared. I, I think if I saw a par if I saw parasites, I would vomit and then never ever do this again. So I don't look, I don't know. All I can do is hope and pray that if there are any in there that they've come out in the name of Jesus. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I just, I just don't look. So that is pretty much how you do a coffee enema. Um, so as I said, I will do them a couple of times. Oh, just kidding. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. So your... First two cups, you lay down, you go, and then you want to do it again. That two cups of coffee that you had on reserve, you want to immediately do it again. Uh, 15 minutes, boop, 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 same process all over again to make sure that everything that is going to come out, can come out, will come out, okay? Um, you don't have to do that part, but you know, you can, especially if, like I said, you are really, really having some issues and you're really backed up. You want to go ahead and do it a second time. If the first time for some reason you didn't get the results that you were expecting, go ahead and do it again. And I guarantee you that second time around, it'll start moving stuff around. Uh, one thing that you don't want to do that some, some people will tell you to do is to be on all fours with your butt up in the air the whole time. That is going to cause the coffee to travel so far down your colon or into your colon that it's really not going to do anything, right? So you want to stay on your right-hand side laying down in order to get everything flowing. And then you're done. And then you jump in the shower because that is all you're going to want to do is just take a bath or well, shower first and then you just want to soak for like 10 hours because you're going to feel disgusting you're going to feel violated and all of that so um i plan on doing them a couple of times a week just two cups not the not the four cup process um just two cups because i think i've done it enough to where that's all i really need to do um for maybe the next two or three weeks and then maybe i'll go to doing it once a week or once every other week or something like that just to maintain something else that you can do if you're like tt i cannot stick nothing up my butt it's just not gonna happen it's, aside from upping your water intake more green juices and more vegetables implementing implementing those into your diet uh, if you need some instant immediate relief you can go and get these pills here which are mag 07s trust me they work um, you do not want to take these unless you are going to be at home, okay? You don't want to take these, go out to work, go out with your friends or any of that. No, no, no. You want to take them and um, because they're going to start to work. I think what they say, I don't have any more, is what they say is to take them at night, uh, 3 to 5 at night, and then in the morning you're going to go. That is the absolute truth. So you want to do this on the weekend, 
um, to make sure that you're not having to go out anywhere the next morning, go to work because you were going to spend the first, you know, two hours of you being awake on the toilet. Okay. So that is going to give you some immediate relief. They don't, neither of these processes make your stomach hurt, cramp, like taking laxatives and whatnot. I remember taking laxatives one Sunday morning, Jesus Christ, uh, messed around and went to church and my stomach hurt so bad. It never made me go to the restroom, by the way, but it's like my stomach was in knots. It hurt so bad. I've never taken a laxative since then. Um, I don't know what the hell are in those things, but it hurts. So this process is very uncomfortable because you're going to be going, but it's not a painful, painful process. So I just wanted to share this with you all because I truly believe, and there are experts that say that they believe that, um, you know, uh, disease starts in the gut and it's very important that we, you know, maintain good, uh, good gut health. That was hard to say. Um, so I just wanted to share this with you all. And another thing that you're going to need to do if you start doing this, even periodically, um, you want to take after like the same day or whatever the day after you want to start taking some probiotics to help um, uh, replenish your good, I think it's flora, the pretty much the good gut bacteria. Uh, this is going to clean everything out, good, the bad, the ugly, everything. So you want to be able to replace that by taking some probiotics. All right. So, um, yeah, I'm going to put a couple of videos down below uh, of, you know, uh, videos that I have watched that have helped me. I'm also going to put that recipe down below as well. Um, the Mago 7 pills that I'm talking about, the exact ones, I'm going to put a link down below for that. These things, BTW, can be purchased. I will link one, of course, down below to help you all out. But you can just go to Walmart. That is a cheap, you can buy these at any, pretty much any pharmacy. However, if you go to Walgreens, you're going to pay closer to 15, 15 to 20 dollars, Walgreens, CVS, any of those. Walmart, as much as I loathe Walmart, it's only $4.97. You get the same exact thing at Walgreens for like $15, $17 or something like that. And I don't even think they're that cheap on Amazon, but I'll go ahead and link it just so you know exactly what the kit looks like and whatnot. So you can uh, go and pick it up at Walmart for $4.97. It's the cheapest thing. Get you some organic coffee, either grounds or the um, beans, but you're gonna have to ground those beans up um, and just, you know, go for what you know. Let me know how you feel about it, if it's something that you've done before, how did it go for you, if it's something that you've considered, uh, what your experiences are. And I know it's controversial. I know that there are some people that are like, heck no, don't do it. It's not safe. And there are other people that swear by it. So I think there's always going to be, you know, team do it, team don't do it, no matter what you're talking about. Um, so yeah, I did enough research and I felt comfortable enough doing it. So I decided to do it. Okay but I'm not gonna become obsessed. But I can say that it does feel, make you feel so much better. It increases your energy and all of that. And I just feel like I, I can breathe better. Like it just feels like all this is like way up here or something and it goes away and then I'm like, I can breathe again. So yeah. So anyway, weird video, I know, super random, but I hope that it helps you. Let me know, let me know down below uh, if you're going to try it again. If you have tried it, let me know how you um, did with it and whatever or whatever. <laughs> I'm tired. I need to go eat. I haven't eaten today. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Check out my latest video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.